All right, a good one, Ever. All right, guys. Anaheim won press day. There's no riding today, but uh, we're here. We just finished a press conference. You got the suit on and uh, you're ready to go. So congratulations on signing with Suzuki. It has been a lot of fun as a media guy. And I think because of social media, as a fan, everybody's been able to watch your journey this off season, riding so many different mm -hmm. bikes. And now we're here to Ana Anaheim. Is it kind of a relief? Is it, I mean, like what, what's it like to be Ken Roxon after this fun off season? Honestly, I try not to make it too difficult and not think too hard about it, right? Like my off season was really cool and completely different than any of the other ones. So that was super sick. And I, I, I've gotten so much rad feedback from people in the industry, from fans and friends. So that really made me happy, right? Um, I, I couldn't really stack up any good results last year, but at least throughout this off season, we had some, some big highlights and that was super cool. So being back here in Anaheim for me, this is just another race. Luckily, I. Uh, I was able to race like three races this off season. So that helped me a lot, which is kind of keep it low key and um, do my work and uh, yeah, show up at Anaheim. And I know there's always a lot of hype about this race, right? Yeah. And you don't have to win this race nor be in the top three to get a championship. Like we know that we've seen it in the past, so it's not a necessity. And uh, that's why I'm actually tomorrow going to go here and um, it'll be fun to ride uh, the old yeller on a, you know, on a racetrack and go racing. So I'm just going to take it all in. We have a new crew, which will also take some time to uh, see how we feel during the racing. And um, yeah, I, I, it's cool. Like I, I'm excited to be in this position and I'm excited to try and get Suzuki back on the map. Awesome, awesome. Well, I'm a test rider, motocross action. We wear the orange helmets, we test all the bikes. And I believe I'm a better rider now because I've been able to ride 500 two strokes, uh, you know, four That's strokes. That's funny, I've stock never bikes. touched a 500. Really? Ever. It's crazy, like I've been pro for freaking 15 years, something like that almost and I've never touched a 500, so that's definitely still on my bucket list. Okay, well, you're gonna have to do it maybe this off season. Yeah, but, that'd be cool. But uh, because I've been able to ride so many different bikes, Griffin's on the run. <laughs> yeah, I know, he's probably trying to get down to the mud. <laughs> so, because you've been able to ride so many different bikes, I mean, does that, do you feel like that helped you at all as a rider? Because I know, like I mentioned, I, I feel like a better rider because I know how the Yamaha works, how the Cowie works, how the Honda works, how the Suzuki works, and then I can kind of make my race bike work how I want it now that I've learned so much from riding different bikes. Do you feel like this off season helped you as a rider skill wise? Um, absolutely. And I think it helped me just creating fun for me again, right? Having said that, it's hard for me to really get an opinion about all the different bikes because I rode them in Supercross with random settings that wasn't anything with me. Like for me to actually really make that call, I would love to take stock bikes out yeah. and just ride stock bikes on an outdoor track because then you can really feel just a different characteristic, yeah. you know? Um, and uh, I didn't ride all the bikes. I never rode the Cowie, you know? Um, I never really rode a KTM or any of those bikes. Yeah. So um, I guess a little bit limited and going on a super cross track is, is also a little bit different. You know, I went to Club MX and uh, we started off on a, on a muddy track, brand new track, brand new bike. Like it's just things like that. It's really hard to get a full opinion about it. Yeah. I got a feel for it, of course, but um, I think to really make that call, I would have to just ride stock bikes, yeah. go back to the basics and ride them on outdoor tracks. And that's how I feel like you can get the best feeling for the actual like brand. Yeah. Well, now you're speaking my language because we ride stock bikes a lot I know. and we test bikes, write articles on them. And there's actually been two pretty high level riders. One might have the last name Wilson and one might have the last name Reed that have ridden our bikes to learn which bike they want to switch to the next mm -hmm. year. So if you ever want to ride All right. a test bike, we got, we got a full lineup of one of everything. <laughs> Good to keep that in my pocket yeah, yeah. but uh, all right so Kickstarter it's you know it's a different brand you're, you're trying to put Suzuki back on the map so does that pressure of you know this isn't the brand that's been winning the last few years so does that maybe take pressure off your shoulders and make it more fun to put Suzuki on your back and take him racing again absolutely I mean it's just like you said it like they haven't really been in the picture that much yeah and I'm gonna put them back in the picture. Um, so, you know, Kickstarter, we know it, it, it's a fact. Can it be a problem? Absolutely. But I knew that going into that, right? And, and I took the risk, yeah. so. Um, but who knows, like I, I'm, we're gonna start racing. And I think we have some, hopefully maybe in the future, just some, some cool stuff in the works. Yeah. Um, cool. And uh, yeah, I, like I said, there's so much unknown, but I think 
it, it could make for such a cool story yeah. that uh, I'm excited to get this going. And unfortunately, I can't fast forward time, right? So we're just gonna have to wait and see. I like it. All right, well, I've seen a lot more Suzuki's at the track. I've seen people that have went and bought brand new Suzuki's that I don't think were planning on it before you signed with them. So how does that feel? You know what's funny about it is that I, I just posted about that actually within the last month. For some reason, I've seen a lot more Suzuki posts, whether that, hi baby, <laughs> whether that is um, from the past or just Suzuki bike builds or yeah. like, I don't know, I just feel like I see a lot more yellow for some reason, yeah. so kind of cool. It's good stuff. All right, well, uh, last question I'll ask you. You didn't get to ride press day, but they've done a great job of keeping this track covered throughout the rain this last week. Um, what? are your anticipations for the track tomorrow just seeing it first glance so here's always the thing like when they cover the tracks with uh with the foil and the tarp that usually means that the top of the jumps are extremely dry and the bottoms are a little bit soupy and they can get super notchy having said that uh with how many riders we usually are on a saturday and starting off on a track that most likely won't be ideal but by the time nighttime comes around the track will be completely different usually um, all the jumps get kind of beat down a little bit and they'll work it in and probably have to water it at some point and I, i'm 100 percent sure that the race conditions are going to be just fine awesome so dirt works are pretty legit huh yeah i mean you know they've i feel like over the last few years we've dealt a lot with this stuff and i think they have learned a lot and they've gotten better and better at um, managing this so hats off to them for sure awesome. um, it, it's you know we race in the dirt and we, we definitely get curveballs thrown at us, that's for sure. Awesome. Well, thanks for your time. Thank you.